Pedro, a hard fought comeback win uh, to get the decision over Daniel Vajja tonight. Where does that win rank in your career? The biggest of my career. You know, like Daniel Vajja doesn't need any introduction. You know, he's been in Bellator and in this game for years and years. <clears throat> he beat some of the biggest names, you know, in, in Bellator history. And, um, and yeah, like I, I'm kind of in the limbo, you know, I'm happy that I won, but I still like, I can't st still stop thinking about like, you know, my performance um, because I, you know, I wanted to be clean, but at the same time, I think to myself, man, don't be so harsh with yourself, you know, he's tough as he gets and, uh, you know, it's a win, that's it. Coming off the back of two knockout losses, you described it as the darkest year of your of your MMA career and one of the darkest years of your life. What are the emotions like to finally get back in the win column? Man, it's right now I can't really tell you because I'm still thinking, I'm still like judging my performance. I have to see my fight. Um, you know, deep down I'm I'm happy, of course. But uh, you know, I think I, maybe I'm too harsh with myself, but uh, I don't know. Right now I'm just kind of yeah, I don't feel yet that I win. I just like, okay, job done. Uh, but I want to see my fight. I want to see what I did wrong. And right now, that's that's what I'm at. But but I'm happy. I'm happy. You were dropped in the first, dropped in the second. What was going through your mind at that point? And did you feel like you were fighting for your career at that point? Oh yeah, big time. The the thing the thing was, um, I start like I knew he was counting with a softball stance. So I, that's why I started straight away as orthodox. And I was doing well on orthodox. And then like, I played well with both. And then I, I remember I switched to softball and I was, my jab was being more successful as softball, but then he bam, clipped me. And the first time he clipped me was the worst one because like I kind of got rocked and I kind of got like that mm, half of a half of a half a second. Then I just like, what is he? And I, came, I saw him came, I was like, okay, just grab his leg and take, 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 take some breath. Uh, and then on the second round, I remember I was doing okay. And then I remember like, okay, or softball. And then I bam, clipped again. Going, going to, the, um, to the third round, Jonesy came to me and like, okay, Pedro, we go to softball. I was like, no, I'm not going softball. No, 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 no. And, um, and yeah, so <laughs> that's it. Pedro. It was your first time fighting for Bellator in the iconic three arena. Tell me, what was the experience like? Man, this was the most beautiful and special night of my career. Undoubtedly, you know, I'm, of course, you know, I'm, I'm always critic, but, but thinking about the overall, it was exactly like I expected, you know. Uh, I had the entrance kind of making, like myself, like, Kind of just showing the Portuguese flag on my back and then boom, open with the Dublin shirt and the, the Irish flag, like I always bring with me. And, and, and the crowd was exactly like I thought, you know, and uh, it, it truly helped me. Like I, I, I cannot lie, like part of my win tonight was also because of the crowd that like, backed me up, gave me strength, energy and pushed for me. And I was like, okay, I have to push not only for me, for win, but for these people, you know, and uh, yeah, special night of my career. And then Pedro, obviously we saw that you were hurt and you were dropped out of the fight, but you also looked like you had Daniel on the run at some stages. Did you ever feel like you were close to finishing the fight and close to closing the show? I was, I felt uh, on the end of the second round where I, um, I clipped them and then I was like, okay. And I just rushed them, start to, I, 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 I didn't want to rush too much, but at the same time, you know, try to finish the fight, but man, he's so tough. He's so, so tough. And, uh, you know, he, he's, uh, he's on the top of, of this game for years, not by coincidence, because he's as tough as he gets, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. And then one last question. Obviously, you're on the two fights kick coming in here. You snapped that. You picked up the W tonight. Um, Daniel was no e easy out, but who's next for Pedro Carvalho? Um, the two names I have in my, my head, you know, I, um, when I was in the tournament, I was supposed to fight, my beating Patricio, I was supposed to fight to Manuel Sanchez. And that fight interests me a lot because, you know, I like wars and Manuel Sanchez is a savage. 
you know, I kind of consider myself a savage. So let's have like a war, let's have a battle, let's have a bloody battle. If, if not, because I know like next week or in two weeks he's going to fight. Um, give me the man of, of the moment, Matt Bernal, you know, I'm also interested on that one. He has, you know, number two ranked. So I'm, I'm looking for the gold. That's all that matters to me. So as close as I can get it, the better. So that's, that's the two fights I'm interested in. But fight is a fight. When the judges' scorecards were being raised, did, were you nervous or did you think you'd done enough? No, to be honest, um, going to the third, um, thank God, you know, John, like, you know, I always say John Kavanaugh is the best in the world for a reason. And uh, I'm happy he kind of came to me and he gave me like a real kind of reality check, not me getting over my head. Like, Pedro, you might be two down, you might be one one. We need this round, we need to finish him. So he kind of gave me a pump, okay, I need to work. Um, but I was I was confident that I got the second round, especially with the, fin with the end of the, of the second round. So when he kind of got my back, you know, and, and I was like, okay, I need to work. And I, boom, I got his guard and he was, I mean, we were both exhausted, but like, I kind of felt I was, I had more energy than him. So I was like, okay, I can get around here. And I was confident, but at the same time, it was a close fight. But I was confident that I, I got to win. Obviously, it was a, a tough end to the night for the Irish fighters with, with James and, and Peter losing. How proud are you to represent Ireland, I suppose, as kind of the last man to have his hand raised in here tonight? Man, um, it's funny because exactly, exactly five years ago, a 20-year boy uh, set foot in Ireland for the first time, just there on the bus stop right there. And uh, by mistake, we were, we were, me and my girlfriend weren't even supposed to, 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 to be here. And then, boom, I just faced the tree arena for the first time. And I was like, man, I was like a kid. And uh, I was like, man, one day, one day I'll be, I'll be on this arena. And uh, it's been five years. And this country, these people didn't give me nothing but love, support, and treat me like always, like one of their own, you know. And um, I'm not born Irish, but I'll be forever, you know, in my heart, Irish forever. Yeah, Pedro, congratulations on the win. Um, you're somebody who seems to put a lot of self-criticism, a lot of pressure on yourself. Did you feel any additional pressure being the, the first quote-unquote Irish person on the car to build momentum for everybody else? Um, like the biggest pressure, to be honest, that was on, like it, it was definitely on my shoulder, was like I kind of was fighting for my career, you know, I was on Two losing, two losing fights, kid, and um, I was fighting one of the best in, in the division, uh, one of the most toughest guy in the division. Uh, so yeah, the pressure was, the pressure I was feeling was more there. But at the same time, I wasn't thinking about it because I was confident that I could get the job done, you know. And um, but but yeah, of course that was like an extra pressure. But like I like I said before, I can I, I think I feel that. Um, the more pressure I have my shoulders, the better I perform. I don't think I performed that well tonight, but I got the win. Just on that about his toughness, he looked out on his feet in the second round. Just on your standpoint, when you come out on the tour and all of a sudden he's, you know, he looks like he's after getting a, an energy boost, what are those first few seconds like for you mentally to try and, okay, this isn't going to be the, the quick finish in the tour that I thought it was going to be? Um, I, I, was, I was like, at the same time, I was training to be as clean and clinical as possible, but my entire camp, I knew this will be the type of fight I would get. And um, every single night I was uh, picturing this fight. And every time I picturing, I was picturing me going into the third round and just like, let's go, let's go. That's me, you know, I, I, as long as the fight goes, I keep growing, you know, and uh, I knew going to the third, you know, I, I, I will have the extra boost. I will have the, you know, I knew that I have the crowd on my side and uh, it was just, you know, a mix of a lot of things that is just okay. And, and, and also I knew that I need that run, so. Appreciate that. Thanks very much. Enjoy your night, Congratulations. Uh, thanks, Pedro. Hi, thanks, Pedro, for the time. Thank you.